Hi, meet our friends, Adam, Sally and Samir. At a meeting, they introduce themselves by each person shaking every other person's hand. How many different handshakes do you think there are in total? There's one possibility. Adam shakes hands with Sally. Adam shakes hands with Samir. And Sally shakes hands with Samir. That's a total of three different handshakes, isn't it? Let's make it a bit more involved. Let's say we have these eight characters and they are going to shake hands. How many do you think there are in total now? One approach might be to show them in a way easier to calculate. For example, in the shape of a circle. You can see that I've labelled each character, A, B, C and so on. What we can do is choose one person to begin with to use as a reference point. Let's choose person A. We want person A to shake hands with person B and then person C and so on all the way up to person H. This is one way of showing that and there are seven ways that person A can do that. Now let's choose person B as reference. Person B can shake hands with person C, D, E, F, G and H and that can be done in six different ways. Then we move on to person C as reference. He can shake hands with the others in five ways. Person D, four different handshakes. Person E, three. Person two, two ways. And finally, person one can shake hands in only one way. So the total number of handshakes is going to be the sum of the numbers from 1 up to 7 which equals 28 so there are 28 different handshakes is there an easier way of working this out can you see a way of working out a general pattern let's look at the general case let's suppose we have n people where n represents let's say 10 15 30 however many people will be shaking hands did you notice that the sum of the numbers up to one less than the number of people gave us the answer that we required. In other words, we can say that if we have n people, then the number of handshakes required is going to be the sum of the first n minus 1 consecutive whole numbers. For example, if there are 10 people to shake hands, the total number of handshakes will be all the numbers from 1 up to 9 added together which in this case gives us 45. That's all well and good, but what if I ask you to work out the total number of handshakes if there were 100 people? It can be done, of course. All you need to do is to use a calculator and sum the numbers from 1 up to 100. Can you think of a faster way of doing that? There is a way, and it relates to what we call an arithmetic series. Now, I've made another video about this so if you're interested you can examine that at length but let's look at the basic information we require when we have consecutive numbers to add we can use this formula to obtain the answer by substituting values for n a and d the letter n represents how many numbers we are going to add the letter a is the value of the first number and the letter d represents the difference between any two consecutive values in our number pattern. For example, let's suppose we're going to sum these nine numbers. The value of A is 1 because that's the first number. The value of D is 1 because the difference between any two consecutive terms is 1. And we are adding nine numbers, so N equals 9. Substituting these three values in our formula we obtain 45 as you can see which fits in with the result we got in our previous example I hope you've obtained some appreciation of arithmetic sequences and series and especially what is known as the handshake problem until next time bye bye